Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, oh, pardon me. Uh, excuse uh, me. Excuse me, miss. Can I get you to place a bed for me? It's sort of hard for me to reach. Uh, sure. What number? She, the way my luck's been going lately, why don't you pick? Ooh, okay. Well, um, I'm the second oldest. My birthday's in July. I was a cat at Ohio State. So, uh, how about four? Mesdames and Messieurs, <laughs> les jeux en fait, numéro 17, rouge. Aww. I'm sorry. That's okay. Excuse me. Uh, excuse me. Pardon me. Uh, are you all right? Thank you. But I'd really rather be alone right now. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just that chip was my last hope. I thought maybe I could spin it into enough to pay for the treatment. Okay. I'm so naive. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't believe I'm telling my troubles to a total stranger like this. Uh, I'm Christine Colgate. Sergeant Fred Benson. See, now we're not strangers anymore. I guess you're right. I don't mind for myself so much. It's just that Grandma was sort of counting on me to come back and run the farm. But shouldn't the army pay for your treatment? Oh, it's a little more complicated than that. You see, my problem really isn't physical. It's emotional. Oh, so you mean Yes. That... I'm afraid what I have is dance fever. <gasps> what happened? You see... I was engaged to the most wonderful girl back in the States. We love to dance. We wanted to be professionals. And then one day, some talent scouts came to town with an audition for Dance USA. Oh my God, I love that show. Me too. Oh my God. <laughs> well, we decided if we won, we'd pay off the farm, sell the horses for glue, put grandma in a home and live happily ever after. Well, finally, it was the big day. We won! Somehow, in all the excitement, we got separated. I looked everywhere. And then I went back to the studio. And there they were. Dancing! Dancing? Naked! <gasps> With who? The Dance USA Orchestra. All of them? Just the brass section. <laughs> that night, I tried to sleep, but all I could dream about was them dancing, making love, dancing, making love. I woke up the next morning and I was numb from the waist down. Oh. I've been this way ever since. Oh, but well, there must be some place you can go. Well, there is one psychiatrist, Dr. Emil Schulfhausen of the Schulfhausen Clinic in Vienna. Why don't you go to him? A man like Dr. Schulfhausen is in demand all over the world. The fees are astronomical. It's just not something I can handle. Well, how astronomical? $50,000. That is a lot of money. Oh, God. Oh, no. What is it? They're dancing! Dancing! Oh. Oh. Can't you say you're killing him? <laughs> okay. We are going to go straight up to my room and write a letter to Dr. Schiffhausen. I tried. It's no use. The money. Don't you worry about that. When the time comes, you'll have your money. Cool. Okay, my room's over here.